Hello, I am Kathy Adams Clark, and Sharon has asked me how to resize a photograph to a specified size. And so what I'm going to show you in this video is how to resize a photograph using three different software packages all by Adobe. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to do it in Bridge Adobe Camera Raw for those of you that use that soft that method. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Lightroom. So whichever one of the Adobe products you are using, I'm going to show you how to resize a photograph. First, Photoshop. I've opened this photograph in Photoshop and I am going to click on Image. I'm going to click on Image Size right here. And in Image Size you get this box that shows up. I'm going to resize this photograph using Resolution first. And in the homework assignment that I gave to Sharon, she had to resize by 96. So I'm going to put 96 in pixels per inch right there. And then I'm going to go up to this block and I am going to click pixels. You know, she have inches, centimeters, millimeters, but you also have pixels. And in the homework assignment I've given to Sharon, she has to resize by to 1280 pixels on the longest side by 96 pixels per inch. So she's going to click on pixels and now that changed from inches to pixels and in that box it's going to go to 1280. You notice that there is a little chain link right over here and that chain link constrains the height to the width. So if we change one it'll make the other one go right along with it so that we don't end up with a wonky photograph. If you don't see that little chain, then make sure that that chain's there. In the event that you ever want to resize a photograph that's not to a standard size, then you would undo the chain and then it would allow you to resize height and width the way that you wanted to. And now that's the only thing that I've got to do, so I'm going to click OK. And when I click OK, now I have resized that photograph. There is also something that you might want to do and watch out for, and that is in Image Mode, notice that this is a 16-bit photo. It's a RAW right now. And to do something like email a photograph or to put it into a PowerPoint presentation, we would, we would change the mode to 8-bit that just makes it a smaller photograph than 16-bit. So once again, just make sure you do that in the event that that's needed. So in my homework assignment with Sharon, she has to rename her photographs with her name first, underscore, and then she has to put a number after it. And this might be similar to what you have to do for a photo contest or what you have to do for your camera club. So I just simply, when I did a resize, I changed the name right up here. And remember that it needs to be a JPEG if you're going to email this to somebody or put it into a PowerPoint presentation. Make sure that you don't put any other periods in there because the period just goes before the file type, the JPEG. And then I simply do a save and then it asks me how big I want it to be. It's perfectly resized now, so we can go ahead and leave it at 12, and then I click OK. So that's how it's done if we're using Photoshop. On the other hand, if we're using Bridge Adobe Camera Raw, I am going to double-click that photograph in Bridge, and then up here in the top right hand corner of the photograph and bridge is a little downward arrow box it looks like a download um, icon i'm going to click on that and i get this new screen saying save options so when i do the save options it asks me what fo what folder do i want to save the photograph in so i'm going to put it back into that same folder where we got it it asks you what name you want to give it and remember I told you that in this assignment Sharon has to put her first name in there first with an underscore and then she has to put a sequential number afterwards so I'm going to delete what I had in there before she's going to put in a four digit serial number so now it is being resized to her name 
and a four-digit serial number. See that right there? And then remember that this is a raw file, but the JPEG extension is what's needed for resizing. So you can pull down your JPEG right there. And then down here on the bottom, it says resize to fit on the longest side. And my instructions to Sharon in the homework assignment were to resize your photographs to 1280 on the longest side and 96 pixels per inch. So that's right down here. And then I click Save, and that photograph automatically is going to go back to that folder and save it with her name and her serial number. Okay? So that's if you're using Bridge. Now if you're using Lightroom, we are going to do roughly the same thing. We're going to, in Library, click on the photograph, right-click, and go down here to Export. And then we're going to go to Export. And when we do Export, we get a screen that looks very similar to what we saw in Bridge. What folder do you want to put it in? So we're going to go in there and we're going to choose what folder we're going to put it in. So we use just this little pull down arrow right here. What folder are we going to put it in? If we need to rename, then we can do the same thing that I just showed you over in Bridge and we can rename it. And you can see that we can get a sequence number if we need to. So we can rename it and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and we get to resize and it's called long edge over here instead of longest side. Here's the pixels on the longest side, 1280 as I said in my homework assignment for Sharon, and then the resolution, here's your 96 pixels per inch. And then there's a couple more things in here that you can change if you want to. Be sure that you've converted it to a JPEG or you're asking the software to convert it to a JPEG. And then we simply push export. And then you'll hear that click in Lightroom and that tells you that it's happened. A neat thing about this software is that if we do this one more time and we want the photo to do exactly the same thing into the same folder, we can do export with previous and it'll take it and put it back into the same folder as the previous one in the same size as the previous photograph. So this is good for when you're, you're having to convert 10 pictures for a, a PowerPoint program, for instance. We can do it pretty quickly, having to get them all resized, renamed, and placed into a folder. So I hope that that helped you. That gives you an idea of how to resize photographs in Lightroom, how to resize photographs in Photoshop, and how to resize photographs using Bridge. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Kathy Adams Clark. If you liked this, be sure to push the like button down below. And if you liked it and you'd like to see more content like this, then punch that subscribe button. And that way you're kept up to date whenever I post new videos. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm Kathy Adams Clark.